Thank you very much, Mike Carlucci. Welcome, everybody. Excuse me while I comb my hair here. Ah, oh, yes. I'm so vain from the song of the same name. Uh, Wally George I is here. Do, do you think I've aged well, Hoshi? Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we, we are here Monday through, <laughs> Monday through Saturday at 12 minutes. Oh, hey, uh, if you haven't, uh, haven't got a, a copy of my book yet, uh, you better run down to, to your latest books, to your nearest bookstore, or you can call the publisher at the number on your screen, and you, you can order it over the phone. It's my autobiography, which I wrote myself, all about my life with some rare photos inside. The, the book is dedicated to my, my uh, wonderful little daughter, Holly, and... Uh, it's my life story, starting at the age of 14 right up until now. Call 1-800-354-5348. Call tomorrow morning after 9 o'clock, and uh, they will mail it to you, personally autographed. How about that? Okay. Well, I'll tell you, we want to get into our, our, our commentary of the day, and then we'll have some highlights. Don't, don't forget every Saturday night... Um, every Saturday night we're on for a whole hour with our hot seat show with our live studio audience. Oh, by the way, um, we haven't mentioned it in a long time, Jeff. My uh, my website. Do you do you still have anything there that you can that you can put up for that for uh, a WallyGeorge.com? Well, it, it, if you have it, you can just there it is. Hey, well you're right on the ball. Watch, watch me on my website, wallygeorge.com. Uh, uh, they have some new stuff up there, and they will, they will uh, have some information on my book and all kinds of stuff, rare pictures, wallygeorge.com. And you can email me. You, you can write to me. You can email me at wallygeorge.com. I read my email, and I answer... Uh, a lot of, of the letters myself on the email. So if you email me, I will most likely answer uh, what, you, what you write to me. So if you want to email me, uh, get, get me up there to wallygeorge.com. That's, the, uh, that's the Wally website. And I enjoy reading what some of you people have, have, have to say. Okay. Uh, the pressure is building to, uh, to, to have an outside probe look into the, uh, the horrifying things going on in the Los Angeles Police Department. One councilman is calling for the creation of a citizens committee to look into police corruption. You know, I think, folks... Let me just say something. I think folks like former police chief Daryl Gates said on the air the, the other day, I think we are, we are really taking on our police officers way too much. I mean, come on. As the old saying goes, there are bad apples in every barrel. No matter what the business may be, the fire department, the police department, a, a, a motion picture studio, politicians, whoa. I mean, there are bad apples wherever you look. But I, I say, because I have been sh strongly in favor of law and order and our, especially our LAPD over the years, and I say the great majority of the police officers in, in the LAPD and, and in uh, police departments all over the country, uh, the majority of these officers are fine men, family men, who give up th their lives often for you and for me. And I think we should cool it a little, a little bit. Sure, I think we should look into 
any charges of corruption, crime, uh, if, if, if there is an, an, an allegation that some officer or officers did something wrong, look into it by all means. But let's not just keep pounding and pounding away at the police in general. Because what in the world would we do without them? I know, personally, many police officers. Now, I happen to live at the, at the, current, at the present time in Garden Grove. And I think the guys on the Garden Grove Police Department are, are, are some of the greatest guys I've ever met. You know, they stop me and talk to me wherever I go. You know, at the market or wherever they pull up. Hey, Wally, uh, members of the LAPD, when I lived for almost 30 years, over 30 years, in the San Fernando Valley, they were terrific, terrific, polite. I, I've been stopped several times for maybe speeding or whatever, and they've been very polite to me. Everyone that I have talked to who has come in contact with, with any police officer has only had good things to say about them to me. I have yet to come across anybody uh, that I can think of who has said anything bad about any encounter they may have had with the police. So let's get off their back a little. If we have, if we had a few bad, okay, get rid of them, but I say applause is deserved to the majority. What would we do without our police department? Many, many have given up their lives for us. Okay? We'll take a little break. I'll be right back with Hot Seat Highlights, highlights from the past 17 and a half years of my Hot Seat Show. Don't miss it. Stay there.